Hey guys, Ivan here with another breaking news for today. What the hell happened today? Matt Jensen officially retired from coaching. So, you guys know that Quinton Ryan made that video yesterday, and today we found out that uh, Nick Walker stopped working with uh, Matt Jensen, but now we also heard from Brett Wilkin that Sean Clarida parted ways with Matt Jensen and Brett Wilkin himself. I mean, in my previous video, I, I actually asked the question, who is next? And yeah, apparently everybody is. <laughs> so Matt Jensen officially has no Olympia level or any other high level athletes anymore. He decided to hang it up to stop coaching. Let me show you what Brett had to say. So Nick and Sean both left the mat, which is pretty confirmed now. Uh, you know, a few days, probably four or five days ago, I believe. And I've talked to both of them on the phone since um, just to, you know, gauge the reasons why and everything. And then I talked to Matt yesterday and we decided that, he, yeah, okay. yes, he's had a very rough year and we are all seeing that now and it's all coming out and you guys will all see that. We talked yesterday and we are no longer working together moving forward. I also don't think he'd be working with anybody moving forward, which we're all going to probably find out soon enough. You know, everyone's situation was different here. Obviously, he dropped the ball with a lot of people. All right. Very, very interesting. So it's official. Matt Jensen stopped working with Sean Clarida as well. And obviously with uh, Brett himself, uh, Justin Shire is, I think, the, the, the last guy, the last Olympian, basically, who didn't really voice himself yet. But Brett said it. Uh, Matt is probably not going to work with anybody anymore. Because he, as Brad says, dropped the ball many times in the past year or two. And that's it. I mean, Matt Jensen was one of the best coaches in the business for a long time. He had his target trademark emoji. He was posting it all the time. And he truly was nailing it with a lot of clients. I mean, we can't say that he's a bad coach. I mean, he had a lot of success so far. But I do hear a lot of people talk about him, and apparently he did fail a lot of people as well. As far as the top Olympians, so far he had great success, but also there is the question of at what cost. People are saying that he was very, very hardcore with, with gear, with stuff like that. You guys know that he was coaching Dallas McCarver, who passed away, but that could have been just an accident. It doesn't have to be, you know, because uh, Matt forced him to do something crazy. As far as the other guys, I mean, Brett did have some serious gut issues. Uh, Justin Shire as well. Nick Walker wasn't able to get lean during this entire prep. So maybe what people are saying about him is true. Maybe his approach wasn't very healthy. Maybe he really didn't know what he was doing. He was just throwing a whole bunch of gear at these guys and forced them to do a bunch of cardio and to go low carb. And it's all genetic freaks and they got in shape. But like at what cost? But that's just rumors, people speaking. I don't know if any of that is uh, for sure true. But uh, what we do know is that he's retired as a coach. One of the best coaches of the modern era is no longer going to be coaching anybody. Everybody dropped him this year. And with Brett Wilkin, I already told you guys the rumor that I heard that Brett basically almost prepped himself, almost peaked himself for that uh, Legion Sports uh, fest that he won recently because Matt wasn't available. He wasn't there for him. So uh, Brett had to make a lot of his decisions and also like with training and dieting. Again, I don't know how true that is, but also since he failed with Sean Clarita so badly, I mean, how did that happen? How did he catch it? How did he realize that Sean was fading away, that he was getting flatter and flatter and smaller and smaller? You know, same thing like with uh, Quinton Araya. And how didn't he notice that Nick was not getting in shape? I mean, if he looked like this at one week out, why did he look like it at eight weeks out, at seven weeks out, at five weeks out, three weeks out? So it seems like Matt is just not focused on his athletes, on coaching. I mean, if that's the case, if he got carried away with, with triathlon and like with business and he just doesn't have the time or energy or focus, like he has a family as well, he doesn't have enough of himself left to give to his athletes, he should have told them that before he started working with them, before he started prepping Nick for the Mr. Olympia or Sean Clarita for the Mr. Olympia, or before he started prepping Quinton after that very good off-season they had, 
Again, I don't know what exactly is the reason for him failing so badly. Maybe he has some personal issues, some big problems in life. But whatever it is, if he wasn't able to focus, he knew that. He should have told that to his guys before the disasters happened. The only excuse that he could have at this point to justify what happened would be that he, for some reason, just lost his instincts. Or to admit that he was never a good coach. That all these years so far, he just had a lot of luck and you know, nothing bad happened with his athletes during the preps and he just uh, got away with it. But once some issues were faced, he didn't know how to approach, how to handle them, how to troubleshoot. So if that's his excuse, or that he just lost the instinct, then I guess it would be justified. I mean, losing the instincts part, but I don't know how much sense does that really make. Not a lot. So really, he either never knew what he was doing and he was just lucky so far, or he just stopped being focused on his guys but he thought he would still get him in shape without really being uh, that uh, devoted to them. In any case, whatever happened here was uh, wrong, and uh, I guess the right decision here would be to retire from coaching these uh, bodybuilding athletes, and Matt knows what is happening right now, what the whole freaking bodybuilding internet is talking about, that he is the hot topic, that everybody is calling him out, and uh, did he say anything? Well, not yet, but he did post something. He posted this story. What does this mean? <laughs> well, I guess it means that he just, you know, doesn't really care much about what's happening. He's at the beach, I guess, enjoying life, not really giving a damn about whatever is happening. You know, he doesn't care. Just like he didn't care about what uh, Quinton Rye would end up looking or that Nick Walker wasn't getting in shape or what Sean Clarita would look like if he lost 10 pounds of muscle, basically. And right now, he doesn't care about uh, what people are saying about him and what his clients are saying about him or his former clients, I should say. Yeah, this is a response from Matt Jensen right here. Sean Clarida still didn't say anything. Uh, we heard that rumor earlier the day before, even Brett confirmed it. But yeah, I guess now it's official. However, Brett did change his um, description of his Instagram account and he added Team Conquer Culture as his coach. And if you click on it, it's just uh, him and his wife. They are also coaching. So he's uh, coaching himself uh, currently. Who's going to be his next coach? I don't know. I'm guessing probably Stefan Kinzel because he saw how devoted, how good he is with his buddy, Martin Fitzwater. So I'm guessing he's going to go with him now. But I'm really curious uh, who's going to be Nick Walker's next coach because Nick Walker is a top five Olympian, at least. I mean, I know he, he didn't show up this year and he failed to show up last year as well. But if he was 100% on at this year's Mr. Olympia, he would have probably been... Uh, I mean, I think fourth. I think he would beat Martin, probably. I mean, he beat him already at the New York Pro, and he wasn't at his best, so... I think fourth at least, but uh, what Derek brought at the Mr. Olympia stage, and since Hardy also wasn't at his best, maybe he would have placed as high as second. That's the way I see it, guys. You can see it otherwise. That's the way I see it, and I think it's pretty realistic. I know you're mad at Nick for, for, for skipping this Mr. Olympia, but let's be real. He is very good still, if he gets in shape. Uh, I already spoke about his uh, former coach, Dom Super Sliced, but I don't think Dom would accept him again because he basically ghosted him. He never even told him that I stopped working, so it's not gonna be Dom. Even though Dom made the great progress with Nick and he moved in the right direction, you know, they were focused mainly on digestion and, and making the way smaller. So somebody like that, you know, somebody who's gonna be focused on, on fixing the issues, helping with the small details, making him more healthy, not somebody who's gonna just drop a bunch of gear on him and get him bigger and leaner and get him peeled for the stage. Somebody with a smarter approach, healthier approach. Anyways, we'll see about that. As of right now, we know for sure that Matt Jansen is not gonna be coaching Nick Walker, Sean Clarida, Brett Wilkin, uh, Quinton Rye, of course, probably Justin Shire, and uh, as Brett said, nobody else. Uh, Matt Jansen officially retired from coaching 
down below in the comment section guys tell me what do you think about this madness today like this video if you enjoyed it for more videos like this guys subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye